Okay, we back yet? Are we back? Fix that microphone. All right, we back. Uh, my Wi-Fi randomly cut out. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Uh, anyways, we are following this little octopus into this crack because it came out of some random coral. Uh, that's all you would have missed. Come to think of it, I could probably use the gas cutter from Duff to cut my way in. Just you wait, you octopus. Alright. It's really loading me up with different missions. It's like every time I try and do a mission, it's like, oh, actually, here is five more. Up, oh. dude, I'm a pro at this. Okay, okay, it's changing speeds to try and trick me, but I'm too cracked. Good! Woo! Uh, yes. I guess so. There is Mr. Octopus. You! You've got nowhere to run now! Give up! I guess I'll have octopus sashimi for dinner. Is he gonna turn into the Kraken? Ah, <sighs> fuck's sake. I'm too fat to get in there. Oh, there's a little thing here. Ugh, it escaped again. It's so quick. Where'd it go? Oh, it dropped something. Rusty octopus bracelet. Ooh. It seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. Alright, sick. Fucking sick. What's in this? Nothing. Oh, it ref oh, refilled my oxygen. Ooh, I didn't know that did that. Uh, interesting. Random little side quest. Uh, let's get back to trying to find the ship. So I can grab that microphone. I'll try and get some fish on the way, but I'm not too fussed about it. We can always just buy fish if we need to. Ooh. I'll get a fish if I can... I can probably just shoot some... Oh, but what a... No, I might run into something actually dangerous. If there's fish that I can just get in one pool, I'll grab them, but most of them take too, take too long. Um, I don't remember exactly where the ship was, but I think it was... It was, like, down and to the left somewhere. Ah, oh, fuck. No! No! Oh. Okay, swim, swim, swim. I don't think it's over here, but I'm just gonna have a look. Okay, and down. Okay, good. Should be down here. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Big ol' shark. If I can't find the ship, it's not the end of the world. We can, we can do this another dive, but I just would like to get it. English or Russian? Medic, what the fuck are you talking about? You know I speak English. Is that like English or Spanish? I'm not moving. Ah, oh, here's the ship. Dog, I do not speak that. Oh fuck, the shark's seen me. Shark has seen me. Oh fuck! Oh thank god. Where am I going? What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know what that was. Okay, I need to kill this shark. I think I'm gonna have to cut my way in again. And I can't do that with the sharks here. Fuck. Oh, so it was like fucking English or Spanish, you bitch. Oh well, guess I'm gay.
Dude, this shark is putting up a fucking fight for real. <laughs> oh damn, had to hold on. I might need to reload my stream because I might be. I think I'm a little bit. De oh, I got it. I might be a little bit delayed from the Wi-Fi. Oh no, I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. Or did I? Oh damn, Dave's gay. That's crazy. Uh, let me get that. How do I get into this again? I had to cut in last time. Hold on, let me... Can I look at the missions again? Uh, microphone beneath the shipwreck, a stone slab from the sea people record chamber, and an amethyst from the depths. Okay. Oh, see you, man. Thanks for popping in real quick. See, well, you really just popped in to say English or Spanish and then left. That's crazy. Thanks, dude. Oh, wait, I go in through here. See you, dude. I think Jonathan was going to pop in, but I don't think he has yet. Oh, maybe he has and he just hasn't said anything. Bro, how am I so heavy? That shark meat must have weighed a ton. Okay, where's the mac- Ah, macrophone! Just haven't said anything. Fair enough. Fair enough. Found one of the components of the translator. Now there's just amethyst ore and sea people's stone slab left. Alright, I can still move, so I'm not gonna... I'll see if I can get the stone slab. And then I can come down and get the amethyst another time. I'm enjoying this game. This is really fun. Find the Sea People Stone Tablet. Uh, stone Tablet, I think it was roughly on this level, but it was over here on the right somewhere. It might even be a little bit higher, honestly. Hey, Barracuda, Barracuda. Eh! Oh, I'm too slow to run away. Oh, it ran off. You don't see me. You don't see me. Uh, in business, we started watching this movie called Flamin' Hot. It's about how the Flaming Hot Cheeto was created. It's actually really good. It's a lot better than I was expecting. Because it, it's a Star original. And for anyone that doesn't know what Star is, it's like the really off-brand streaming service that no one uses. Um, but... And I was like, I was like, oh wow, this is going to be really boring. But it's, I was, I'm actually impressed with how good it is so far. I've been locked in the entire time. I hope that Barracuda is not waiting for me when I leave. Um, yeah, we haven't finished it yet because we only have an hour of class and obviously a movie is usually more than an hour. But we're going to finish it tomorrow and I will update you on my thoughts. Now, I just need Amethyst Ore to create the Sea People Translator. Lit. Oh my god, I'm so heavy. I think there was an escape pod out here somewhere. I'm so glad I have so much oxygen now. It makes my life so much better. I can't get over the fact that they literally just called it the giant blue hole. They couldn't come up with a better name for it. Okay, uh, you don't see me. You don't see me. Okay, you see me. You see me. Fuck off. Fuck off. Quick draw, baby! Faster shooter in the west. In maths at the moment, we've been doing we're doing this thing called crashing, and 
anyone who is also doing VCE right now will relate when I say how fucking hard and bullshit this section is. It's literally like the very last exercise in the math curriculum of year 12. And I'm like, oh, you know, final thing, I'll just get it done quickly and then I'll be fucking done with the maths content and I can just focus on getting ready for the final sack and end exam. And it's taken me like three days to do this uh, section just because I can't get my, I can't wrap my head around it. Like the concept itself seems super simple, but actually trying to do the questions, I, I like in my head I'm like, oh yeah, I can do this. You just do that, that, that. And then I look at the answer and it's completely off. And I'm like, what the fuck am I missing? Uh, anyway, octopus bracelet. A bracelet found in a corner. Watch it. Yeah, yeah. What does it do though? Equip the octopus bracelet to dash short distances with L3. Ooh. 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 I like. I like. I like. I will equip that. How do I equip things again? Um. Does it. There's another app that I haven't unlocked yet. Oh my god, there's heaps more. What the fuck? Uh, how do I equip my thingy? I don't know. Uh, okay. Let's go cook some sushi. Uh, okay. You're ready, you're ready. Oh, I can talk to you? Opening only for the evening, but I'm too exhausted at such a late hour. Can I talk to you? Oh, I can. If you keep on practicing, uh, you can become a master. Okay. So they're not like important characters, they're just talking shit. Uh... Oh, oh, it was a tiger shark. Oh, I thought it was a great white. Uh, damn, I got a lot. No wonder I was so heavy. Um, what else do we have? We can get five of these. Maybe it is worth it to kill the bigger fish then. Because the shark gave me so much. And even the parrot fish gave me a decent amount. Uh, okay, get two of these. Get one of these. And get one of these. Alright. Uh, do, do I have any more staff I could hire? I could. Oh, I need to... Oh, I still have Liu. He kind of sucks, though. Um... I mean, I can probably fire people. Can I fire people? I don't want to hire people if I can't fire people. Wait, what are your skills? Oh, alright. Uh, I think I'll leave it for now. We're doing fine. Open up all the business. Okay, I've got. To, I'm gonna stay closer to this side, and I'm gonna let Kyoko deal with the people that are further away. But I will serve the drinks. Oh yeah, that dude still wants his uh, thing, but I haven't caught it yet. Perfecto! Okay, drink, 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 drink. Okay, people that want drinks are very easy. Good thing Kyoko's so fast. I don't have to worry about saving people. It'd be nice to have, like, one more server, but she's doing pretty well. I'll focus on the people closer. Okay, good. Okay, you've been here longer, so I'll give it to you. Oh, this guy's all the way over here, fuck. Kuka, what are you doing? Serve people! Okay, good. Okay, Kuka can, can get this one because he's all the way over there. I'll clean this. Oh, I'll serve you here. Easy. Nice, okay. Clean the stable. Good. Okay. You got that. It would be nice if she was a little bit faster, but I think she's still faster than me. Oh, what is this? What the fuck? This is new. You won't be able to 
produce food if you run out of wasabi. Oh fuck, I didn't. This is a new thing. They didn't tell me about the wasabi. Nobody warned me. All right, nice. We're doing very well. If I get one more server, I think we'll be perfect. I'll I'll hire one today. Oh, I didn't get to night swim. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Who's messaging me? Male jellyfish party, what? Hello, residents! We have finally launched a tourism committee to promote the newly discovered mysterious Blue Hole! Our first event, the Jellyfish Party, will be held in three days. If you know any of restaurants that can serve jellyfish dishes to match the theme, please spread the word. Oh, a party! What a nice looking picture! <laughs> mm. I guess they're trying to open this place for tourism. I just hope it doesn't get too chaotic. Well, it's a party held on a special day. We just need to prepare for more customers. The male said their party's name was Jellyfish. Jellyfish dishes should be popular. It's October 15, so we have three days. Aha, make sure to prepare some jellyfish, whatever kind it may be. Let's hit the jackpot. Special customers arrive during events, prefer the dishes they like. Oh, okay, easy. Uh, Alright, sick. Cool, cool, cool. That's fine. Jellyfish are pretty easy to find. Uh, I'll try and get the amethyst, and then I'll get some jellyfish on the way. I don't know how... D if I night swim, does that mean I can't serve Bancho? But then wouldn't that impact me because I'm not doing the restaurant? I don't know. Oh, I didn't have to equip it. I automatically equipped it. That's good. Now I gotta go into the deep down, dark deep down to get some amethyst. Hey, jellyfish. Jellyfish were a bit hard to get uh, earlier, but now my harpoon's a lot stronger, so I should be fine. Ooh, I should do... Oh, I can't until I leave. Fuck. I was going to hire... I put out an ad. Okay. Oh, it only takes two harpoons now. That's really nice. It used to take, like, five. When I get out of the water, I need to remember to put out an ad. Somebody remind me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hold on. I got this bitch. Oh, I didn't even have to press. I'm too powerful now. They c nothing can stop me. I am a widowy Aquaman. Uh, okay. Down. Down into the deep, dark, deep, down, dark, deep, down. Deep down, dark, deep, 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 deep. Okay. Uh, um, what the sigma? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. It said that the hole would be different every time, but there's particular structures that remain pretty much the same each time. And certain landmarks stay in the same kind of area. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just trying to get down, but all these things keep fucking blocking me. Okay, wait for this one. Okay. Oh, really? I got caught at the fucking tail end of it. Okay. Wait for it. Okay, good. Now, should be able to go down from here. I need to open these to make sure I can get some blueprints. Ooh, Samurai Sword. I'm going to be trying a, a new thing with the uh, scheduling. So instead of us playing the same game every day until we finish a game, I'm going to start switching it up a little bit and making it kind of like a weekly schedule where it's like we play one game on Monday, then we play a different game Tuesday, different game Wednesday, and then uh, Monday if we like do that again. But the schedule's a little bit flexible, so 
things may change, and I'm not gonna like post what the schedule is. You guys are just gonna get surprised, but oh, we gotta watch out for that. See, does that not look like a great white shark? Um, but yeah, I think it'll be good just to kind of spice it up a little bit and switch it around instead of just being like David the Diver, David the Diver, David the Diver, David the Diver, until it's done. Um, and then yeah. So, what I'm thinking is, like, we do a different game, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, and then Saturday, what I'll do is I'll just pick one of the games that we played this week that I liked the most, and then play that on Saturday. So, we can get, like, a double double stream of one of the games each week, and then, but it's still a bit of variety, you know? And if I'm playing a game on Saturday, that means we'll probably get to play it longer, which means I'll probably get through it faster. You know? But then if I play a game one week and I don't like it, I might like I'll probably switch it out for another game the next week. You know? Like it like the schedule will be pretty flexible. It's just a little bit of a loose kind of thing. Just a bit of variety, but still make it so that we finish games, you know. But it's like even though I like playing games, sometimes I'm just like, oh do I wanna play that again for the like fifth day in a row? Not really. Yes. Okay, that's convenient that they leave these here. I really want to kill that thing. Okay, I'm a Thesta. Nice. Okay, cool, we got all the things. Let's head out. Actually, let's try and get some more jellyfish. Heavy light. Uh, no. Oh, I can use the oxygen. There we go. Sick. So yeah, I think that should be a little bit of fun. I'll head back up because I don't think there's many jellyfish down here. Uh, where did I come up from? I think I just went straight down, so I must have come up from here. Yeah, so have a look at uh, socials after the stream to figure to see what we're going to be playing tomorrow. Oh fuck! I went down again. I'm trying to go up, not down. Instead to open up those cases to get some blueprints, but I haven't found one since the very first time. Where are the jellyfish? Whoa! Oh fuck, I forgot the shark was here. I forgot about the shark. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I will leave your territory. Oh, now there's a barracuda. Fuck. That's right. I can fuck with the barracuda. Barracuda don't go shit on me. Yeah, bitch. Stop clogging on my inventory. I'm trying to get jellyfish. The trigger bomb trap. Wow. I mean, I have three days to get jellyfish, so it's not like I need to get it today, but it would be good. I don't know where the jellyfish hang out, though. I thought they just hung out everywhere, but apparently not. They're usually kind of in cavey areas, I think. I don't know. I got a few. Jonathan, did I already ask you about how your party was? Ah, oh, I did. Alright. Then I will not ask again. got farted on. Cuttlefish don't count as, as jellyfish, do they? 
Probs not. Oh my god, all these bitches want to smoke. I'm just trying to live my goddamn life. Bruh. Hey, jellyfish. Yeah, they kind of hang around near walls. Fried egg jellyfish. I hope the jellyfish people don't want variety, because all they're going to be getting is the fried egg jellyfish. It seems. Oh. I want to I need to get that moray, but I don't know how I'm supposed to be doing night diving. I'll try again tonight. Because even though I like doing the restaurant stuff, I would like to progress the game as well. Oh my god, everyone rocks up every fucking day, don't they? I can't have one day where I just dive and do my fucking job. Everyone's always wanting shit from me. Wow! You had to visit a lot of places, but you managed to get everything! Now that's what I call lucky! I'll use these to try and make a translator in my lab. I'll need some time to make it. You can go about your business in the meantime. I'll be in touch soon! Don't worry, I'm sure one of the other many side characters will want a favor in the meantime. Sick. W hole. W hole. Girls be doing try on holes, I'm doing fish holes. So today I caught seven fried egg jellyfish, and I bought a barracuda, and I got a great parrot fish. Dude, Dave would kill it on TikTok. Dave needs a social media manager. Uh, okay. Oh, I didn't need to come back to Pancho. Whoopsies. Uh, Cookster. I don't know if liking these pictures does anything, but is what it is. Uh, I can't do anything. I can't do any quests until night time, so I might as well just catch some more fish. I guess. Oh, I was gonna. I was gonna hire someone. I can hire, hire, hire. Uh, where's the man manager? Oh wait, I can only do it at the restaurant. Frick. Guess I'm going back to the restaurant. At least going different places doesn't take up time. Uh, stuff. Oh my god, I have so much money. Uh, let's do an internet ad. So that I can get really, really good people. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's also... Oh, I can't upgrade anything. Fuck. Oh, I can upgrade my cargo. I should do that. Because I am running out of cargo. Alright, now let's go diving. Oh, there's a cat. Where did the cat come from? Nice. Josh, come on. Mods, can we delete that message? Mods. Mods, can we throw him in the dungeon? Didn't I leave? Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> Josh, you and Medic literally have beef for no reason. Oh, this is another dolphin thing. Oh my god, it's a whale! Oh my god! 
Holy shit, why did I not expect to see whales in this game? We've seen like every other ocean creature. I just didn't even think of whales. Dude, this is way too shallow for a whale to be coming. This is not safe. Wow, it's a humpback whale. It's so big that it makes the blue hole look smaller. Dude, whales are so fucking cool. One second. <laughs> uh, good one, Jonathan. Josh, you and Medic have beef for no reason. You were both in chat, and then you just randomly started fighting for no reason. It was literally over nothing. Uh, let's see if I can get some more jellies. If you guys have beef, you need to sort it out in your own time, not in my chat. Buddy. Buddy boy. You don't even know what he looks like! You haven't seen him, you live in different countries! Oh my goodness. Oh, actually Josh, I was gonna ask you about how that party went that you mentioned. You mentioned it like weeks ago and I kept forgetting to ask you about it. Come on, give me some blueprints. Give me some fucking blueprints, baby. Give me some blueprints. Heck. I mean, oxygen's not too bad. I need some jellies. Oh, swordfish. Swordfish. Sorry. I think he- oh yeah, he did actually. He did say his weight. For some reason. I don't know why he self-reported like that. He could have been joking, but I don't know why he would joke about that. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Just don't, don't fight in my chat. Or you're gonna face the consequences of my moderators! I'm still not used to... Pretty good. I'm still not used to having mods. It feels so weird. It feels weird asking people to do stuff for me in my chat. But I'm okay with asking Jonathan, because I know Jonathan IRL. But it's like... I saw this thing on TikTok the other day where it was like... Uh, it was talking about how streamers having mods is like when the king used to be like, have guards. And, it, and they would be like, God, seize him! That's kind of what it's like to have mods. It's like, mods, kill this man! Ban him forever! Throw him in the dungeon! That's what I feel like. Ooh, I got a oovy. I got a oovy, oovy doovy. How do I use this again? Uh, oh yeah, like that. Let's just see how deep we can go. I don't know what my, um, lowest depth is. It's in a... Ooh, Jonathan, what are you having for dinner? Give us a cheeky food review. It's a sea snake whip. What? The fuck? I think I can go pretty deep now. No idea. Whoa. Whoa, that's a giant oarfish? Mm. If I take a picture with the blue plankton next to it, that could make a pretty nice picture. Ooh. Ah, fuck it left. <laughs> Come on. Where's the blue plankton? Oh, there. Bro, taking pictures is so hard. <laughs> Bruh! Camera focus or fish with the blue plankton. Bro, I'm trying. Oh, did it leave? Is it gonna come back? Oh, there it is. Okay. Bro, it's in the picture. What do you mean? Oh, I have to release at the right time. Oh. Bro. <laughs> Jonathan, don't abuse your mod powers. Come on. I don't have to act like a primary school teacher. Oh my god, taking pictures is so hard. 
Bro. Tell me how the ore fish isn't in the fucking picture, bro. If you ban me, you are you losing your friend if you're... <laughs> Dude, I'm not trying to ban you. I'm, I, don't, I don't know what Jonathan's done. You haven't done anything wrong. I don't want to ban you, dude. I'm chilling. There we go. Go argue with your brother. None of my business. I'm staying out of it. Ooh, jellyfish. How do I get over there? Do I have to go up or down? Aha! Jonathan, Medic hasn't done anything wrong. Dude, I actually almost, <laughs> I almost banned him the other day. Cause he started like talking about Ukraine and stuff and I'm like, dude, don't do that in my chat. I was, I was almost gonna like time him out or ban him, but I was, he, he didn't push, he didn't push his luck too hard. So I was like, okay. Yeah, I mean, you can talk about math, that's fine. Yeah. Like, he, I can't remember what he said, but he said something about Ukraine. Well, I told him not to, and then he was like, oh, my bad. Comb jelly. You know what they should do? They should make a game where you're it's set, set in a fantasy world, but you're a like a hunter and you hunt fantasy creatures. Cause you know how they have all those like hunting games? They should make one, but it's a fantasy world. And you get to hunt like unicorns and uh minotaurs and stuff. What the fuck is that? You're gonna be aggressive. That's not, I mean, that's not Pokemon though. Cause you don't actually like kill the Pokemon. And they're not, uh, you're not hunt, like you're not hunting them. And they're not real mythical creatures. I'm talking about like real mythical creatures. Kind of be like delicious in dungeon, but like a game. What the fuck is this? Must be some kind of eel. Ow. Oh fuck, I'm almost out of oxygen. Fuck. I'm gonna- I'm dipping, I'm dipping. Wait, what did you say? What you- You know what I mean, like they're not real mythical creatures, they're made up for, specifically for Pokemon. Bro, this thing is fucking hunting me. God damn. Well, I didn't see any escape pods. I could be fucked here. NGL, boys. NGL. Okay, bullets. It's not really what I need, but okay. Oh, escape pod? Oh, there's an ox- that's oxygen. That's oxygen. Yes, please. Yes, please. Ooh, oh my god, that fills you up all the way. That's goaded. Oh, and then there's a escape pod right here. Convenient. Thank you, Jonathan. Oh, wait, no, sorry, it was Nightbot. It was Nightbot. I wish Nightbot would just straight up ban the um, bots, but oh well. Oh, it's Udo. Ooh. Wait, oh, oh wait, no, I gave him like a really racist uh, voice, didn't I? Oh, you put a picture of something. Can I see? That's a giant orifice. Pull it up when you're done. What? 
Oh, the nightbot settings. Yeah. I heard that the fish was referred to as a god in the ancient times. It really is a huge... Segui! I'll put your pictures to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Noise. There are photo spots all over the place. Thank you for your help and keep up the good work. Very nice. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, it's night time. Uh, I could dive again. You can only dive one... Oh, one third of evening. Oh! I mean, I kind of have to dive because I need to get the Marae Eel. Okay, so it doesn't completely get rid of the working thing. But it just means you don't make as much money. Oh, see you, Josh. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, buddy? I'll miss you. What's that? Oh. What the fuck? Okay, I need to find a moray eel somewhere. Oh, God. There is no way he says it back, Josh. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. Good riddance. There we go. What the fu- ah! Shark! Shark attack. Oh fuck. Oh fuck's sake. Oh brother. This guy stinks! Oh what the fuck? Why is everything so aggressive? God damn! I'm trying to eel it up over here and these guys are cramping my steez. Oh, okay, gun. Bah! I'm strapped! I'm strapped! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, huh? make a move, boy. Make a move, boy. You can't. Too many fucking bullets in you, bitch! Alright, cool. That's all I needed. I mean, I might as well collect some fish while I'm here. Since everything wants the smoke, apparently. These things attack as a fucking group. Longspine squirrel fish. What? Squirrels aren't aggressive. Oh, I keep thinking I have the boosty. That could be good. Public opinions are- Dude, I love furries. Furries are great. I have no problem with furries. My opinion on anyone is like, I'm totally down with anyone as long as they're not hurting anyone else, you know? Thank you, Jonathan. Literally, my opinion on any group of people is they're fine as long as they're not hurting anybody else or themselves, okay? Let people have their- like, let people do stuff. That's my motto. Let people do stuff. As long as it's not hurting anyone. Uh, ooh, can I hire people? Still going. How long does the hiring thing take? I think it takes a full day. Full 24 hours. Ooh, I can do some research. I used to be the most racist homophobic. Yeah, wait, really? Damn. That's true. You see, th that's to what happens, you know? I feel like most people start off as being, you know, racist, homophobic, xenophobic, etc. as a kid. Just because you're not exposed to different types of people. But then as you age, you get to expose to different groups of people. And you're like, hey, this, these people aren't that bad. And then you're like, you know what? They're pretty chill, actually. And then you kind of grow and mature as a person and you become more accepting. That's really weird. I don't remember you being like that when we were younger. Um, but yeah, I mean, some people never grow out of that and then they become conservatives, but... Um, that's neither here nor there. Oh, wait, no, 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 oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do it. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, did I get rid of it? Like, did I, uh, I don't want to throw it out. Oh, whatever. I can always catch some more sushi, some more jellyfish if I need. Um, because I think if I swap it out for something, it just, like, chucks it out, which I don't want. Oh, I still have comb jelly stuff, so that's okay. Uh, I just need to... 
The reason I asked though is there is an amazing game by the name of Changed. By the name of Changed. Okay. Is it like a furry game? Definitely worth a shot regardless of if you... Okay. Ugh, I'll have a look at it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I needed to make a thing for that guy. Shit. I hope that doesn't mess me up. I need to read what the thing is before I put it on the menu. Okay. Bunjo Sushi. Yeah. Okay. I should be able to serve this guy. Oh, they're all anthros. Nice. Uh. Oh, I'd, oh no. I'd... Wait. I need two more. Oh, really? I need two moray eels. Are you serious? That's so dick. That is dick and balls right there. So I gotta. So tomorrow night I gotta make sure I catch two moray eels apparently. Because I accidentally used the moray eel on the sushi. Luckily we have a lot of turmeric, so that's something. Okay. Good, good job, girl, woman. I can't remember your name. It was like Kyoto or something. Ah, oh, seriously, bro, you're making me walk all the way over here. Come on. There we go. The the sound of the messages popping up. It sounds like a bad thing, so I keep thinking that someone's unhappy with the service whenever they do that. Oh, it's edging me! It's edging me! I'm on the 99! Are you serious? I've started wearing cologne more often, just in my day-to-day, -day, and nobody's mentioned it yet, and I'm really mad about it. Because... I have this uh, cologne that I bought ages ago because I was like, oh, I'll, I'll wear it so that I smell nice when I go out on like special occasions and stuff. But I don't have many special occasions, so I decided just to start wearing it every day. And not a single person has mentioned it. Which I think is annoying because I, I, th I think the cologne smells really nice. Phew! I tried to do it alone, but it was too tough. I got a, I got a bit of help from Duff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks to his help, we can now translate your words into the Sea People's language as well. <laughs> wow, I'm curious to know what they have to say as well. I haven't smelt anything, and women whom biologically smell greater won't mention it. Wait, why won't they mention it? <laughs> I'll first make, make my way back to the Sea People's location. And, and when you say biologically smell greater, do you mean like they have a better sense of smell, or that they just smell better? Yeah. I mean, I think it's... I don't think it's that uncommon for people to be like, Oh, you smell nice. You know, even just... Not as like a flirting thing, but just as like a friendly thing. Like if one of my friends smells different and they smell nice, I, I'll, I always tell them. Oh, what is it? Yeah. I spent some quality time when Leah's Chen and I did something, did some quiet thinking. Is it? Oh, okay, right. Greater sense of smell. I will. Wait, how did? What? No, I gave him like a Reddit mod voice. I realized that paying people back for help received was what a noble master would do. Yeah. Tell me, Dave, are you satisfied with your guns? Mm. Um, they're fine. It'd be nice if they were stronger, though. Heh. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's time I stepped into the spotlight, so to speak. Good old pheromone. Yeah, true, true, true. Well, yeah, that's partly why I started wearing it more often, because I was like, oh, you know, uh, smell is a big thing. Um, like, smell is very important when it comes to attractiveness. Um, you know, like, I've, I've heard so many girls be like, oh, you know, it's really attractive when a guy smells nice. And I'm like, oh, you know, can't hurt. Not that I'm really trying to attract anyone at school, but you know what I mean. Uh, I'll help you enhance your guns. Mm. Enhance them? How do you do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's about making them stronger. 
or imbuing him with elements like poison or electricity. Cologne isn't that good in my opinion, it just doesn't smell like shit. Yeah, no, that's fair. But some colognes can really, like, really smell nice, you know? It can seem... Yeah, obviously don't fucking cover yourself in it, but if you just apply it lightly, it can really make you smell a lot better. And obviously you still need to wear deodorant and stuff as well. Um, I think I, I usually make sure that I smell nice, because I, I I always got get really paranoid about how I smell. Um, so I try and make extra sure that I smell good. Um, but I think cologne can definitely make a difference. There's one thing you need to remember though. Only guns that have been created can be enhanced. I speak at the risk of sounding obvious. Also, some people, female people, have heard them. Yeah, I think... I think the man stink thing is only preferable if they're already attracted to the man. Um, it's like a pheromone type shit. I think if I just walked in all like sweaty and smelly, I don't think people would appreciate that. But if I was already dating someone, and we were like... We were close like that, and then I came back from somewhere and I was sweaty, then they would probably appreciate that. Because I have heard that as well. I have heard people online be like, Oh, I love when my man be stanky. You know? Oh, I see. Gun enhancement. That sounds pretty useful. <laughs> Partially, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's different for everyone. Like everything. Duff, you're a cooler person than I thought. Online isn't always... Yeah, no, that's true. But I've heard it from multiple people. Yeah, we'll do that. Well... What? Especially for attraction. That's true. I don't know. I mean, I think with the internet, it's important to not believe everything you hear, but I think most of the time people are being honest, because usually lying doesn't benefit them in any way. Because if there's one thing that people love more than lying on the internet, it's calling out people who are lying on the internet and proving them wrong. So I think people who have used the internet for long enough know that, and so they know that it's better just to not lie. Because people always find out. People always find out if you lie on the internet. Well, only a certain kind of person really posts shit on there. On, on TikTok. Oh shit, I missed what he said. I think I've provided an adequate explanation. It's goodbye to the world of the pixies for me. Goodbye eternity! Oh, internet, yeah. Um, I mean, I guess it depends on where it's being posted as well, because different sites have different kinds of people on them. Like, you're going to get very different people on TikTok than you are on Reddit, you know? But growing up on the internet, I've found that people fucking love proving that someone's lying if they're lying, or, like, proving someone's wrong. And... So I think most people who have used the internet for a long time know that, and so they know that it's better just to be honest. Like how 4chan is 100% truthful. Sure. I have never and will never step foot on 4chan. That shit scares me. The stuff that I've heard about 4chan, gosh. You can now enhance your guns at Duff's weapon shops, collect various materials and gun fragments, and make your weapons more powerful. Cool. Alright. Okay, I need to... Dude, you would use 4chan. You would use 4chan. If I saw you on the street and I didn't know who you were, I would look at you and be like, damn, that guy definitely uses 4chan. Do you remember when you brought 4chan up in psychology class? Dude, I was I got like uh, psychic damage from that. I got like secondhand embarrassment because not only did no one else in class know what it was, but I I knew what it was and I knew I know what 4chan is like, so I got embarrassed about the fact that it even got mentioned. No, like it, don't get me wrong, it was funny, but I was like I was like, oh, Jonathan, why would you even say that? And obviously the teacher had no idea what it was. But the students also had no idea what it was, because they're not chronically online like we are. <laughs> I 
the other day someone from school was doing uh, like a survey about on about social media use for their psychology class and I got interviewed and the questions were it was just like oh you know how what's your daily average on social media do you think and I had a look at my screen time on my phone and I was like oh it said four hours and she's like oh wow that's a lot and I was like oh yeah you know whatever I don't care. And then afterwards I realized I was like, oh, it's probably, like, that's only the stuff on my phone. Like, that's not even including Twitch and YouTube that I mostly watch on my laptop. So, it's probably more like six hours a day on average. So, if she thought four hours was bad, I hate to, I, I would I would hate for her to know the six hours. Hey, welcome Storm Raven. how you going? Welcome to stream. First time, first time new viewer, how you going? Fuck, I'm getting- no! No, oh, I'm getting sucked! Okay. Oh my god, I hate when I catch on the very end of it. Hey, you going, Storm Raven? You having a good day? Dude, Dave is epic. I love Dave. Dave is my fucking guy. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Storm Raven, if you would like. No pressure, obviously. I like getting to know all my all my new viewers. Tell us your name, date of birth, and one fun fact about you. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. I hate when I hate when we have to do that in places. Oh my god, the fucking sand shark, bro. Piss off. Give me, give me, yeah. Older game, my first PC was an Apple II Plus veteran with anger issues, but games like Dave's Dirty Rain and Hardship's Race Breakers keep my pressure, blood pressure down. Nice! Good stuff. I, I want to play Stardew Valley at some point, because it seems like a game that I would enjoy. I gotta remember that these give me oxygen. But yeah, Dave is really, really good. I enjoy it a lot. Let's try out the Sea People translator from Dr. Bacon and see how it works. Uh, uh, can you hear me? I'm currently learning to speedrun Dave for a local charity event, I think- Oh my god, wow. That's really impressive. I think it's gonna take me 30 hours just to beat the game. What? I was a human speaking our language! An interesting creature. His body looks different from that of the humans we occasionally see. Just called him fat. Well, in any case, right, I should introduce myself. Swam. Oh wow, his name is literally Swam. That's crazy. Like swam, like swimming. Among us low dwellers. Wait. Oh right. Among us low dwellers. Oh, you said you call us sea people, right? You could say I'm the bravest and coolest male among them. Ahem. <coughs> Suam, nice to meet you. I'm Dave. <laughs> Dave, in our language, your name sounds very similar to Broken Toilet Lid. What is with this creature? In any case, the sea person lying here is the daughter of the sea people village chief, Chief Ramo. Ever since being kidnapped by that stupid giant squid, she has been unconscious. If I'd known about it a little earlier, I'd have shown that squid a thing or two. Don't get a big head for defeating that insignificant squid, human. I am the one that guards Ramo. You really are a noisy one. 
In any case, you seem to have so have something to say. What is it? Oh, about that. In order to allow Rama to uncover, recover, we need some medicinal herbs. I've got about 220 hours into Dave right now. Anytime outside the game, researching tables about best flavor and greatest fish value. But per pound. I like to watch Dave's streams and see if there's anything. Uh, well, it's my first playthrough, so I'm, you're probably not overlooking anything. I didn't even know Dave was that in-depth. I didn't know it was, like, different fish for, you know, like, if there was a real, like, fish economy, you know? That's interesting. This game this game is really impressing me with its uh, amount of content, because I, I assumed it would just be another, you know, little indie game that I would finish in a couple of hours, but it's really, really robust. Uh, it's got a lot to offer, and I'm really happy about it, because I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm unable to leave, as I must stay and look after her. Human, you must acquire some medicinal herbs to help Ramo recover. The feather coral and lily coral grow in these parts. Please make them edible and bring them to me. Make them edible? How do I do that? That's for you to figure out, human. Go find a chef to help you or something. Hmm, she's ill, so I can't refuse to help her. Feather coral and lily coral, huh? I guess I'll take a look around first. It's what, seven euros? You get a lot of fun for the price. Yeah, I mean, I literally got it for free, basically, because I got it from the PS Plus, uh, you know, like, games. So, yeah, definitely, definitely good value, for sure. Like, a lot of the games you get from PS Plus are kind of shit, just because they they just want to have a lot of games on offer. But there are really some good bangers hit, hidden in there, and this is definitely one of them. Find Feather Coral, find Lily Coral. I don't even know what that looks like. Good thing it shows you when it's an important item. Because I have no idea what they look like. But yeah, I think I'm only like a quarter of the way through the game at this point. Uh, I hope you get a lot of Dave. I know. I know I yeah, I'm definitely really enjoying it. It is sick. Okay, let's try and find this coral. It's uh, The guy said that it grows in this area, so we should be able to find it. I don't like this stuff. I just want to be able to swim through. Oh, I'm out of stuff. Okay, come on. What is that? Opa? It looks like a sunfish. This is the first time I've seen one in person. Maybe I'll take a picture of the souvenir. Oh god, not another picture. I'm so bad at these pictures. Oh fuck. <laughs> Bruh. Capture- oh, capture two at once. That's an optional goal. Oh, here we go. Okay, ready? Hey, gotcha! Haha. <laughs> Oh, there's one of the corals. Okay, sick. There's a feather coral. Now I gotta find a lily coral. One of the things that I'm really, that I think is really cool about Twitch that I'm really enjoying, I've, is that you really discover how big some of the fan bases for these niche games are. Because obviously there's a lot of people playing, you know, like Apex and Fortnite and Minecraft and all those bigger games. But it's cool when I play a smaller game like this and I find out what a big fan base it has and I get to kind of join another little community. That's cool. Anyway, that was easy. Uh, okay, let's head up so that Boncho can collect it, but I should get some fish while I'm here. I'm definitely going to have to do another quest with those sand sharks at some point. It's going to be like another moray eel type thing. Is it moray eel or is it moray eel? I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong. Alright, let's kill this shark. Get some meat. Oh, this is... I don't think I've killed this type of shark. Oh god, it's so weird looking. I think I got killed by this shark at one point. Oh, it's sucking! It's sucking! I'm 
I'm not sure I put the I put up more Let some more When the moon it's your eye right, like a big pizza pie that's some more Oh my god. Okay. No ah! Don't suck me! At least that's how I see, yeah. More. More eel. Oh jeez mate, it's a fucking more eel, eh? In a car. Oh, hey, hey, mamma me, what are you doing? Hey, get shit on. Get fucked, mate. You don't fuck with the Aussies. Mega Mouth Shark. Ooh. Interesting. Have you not met fucking Steve Irwin, mate? Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with these Aussies. They're a different breed. Ooh, crab. Crab, crab. That's a king crab or an emperor crab or whatever it is. Oh, oh, I don't think I can kill it because of the... It's too... Too beefy. I must need an upgrade before I can get it. Ooh, jellyfish. Okay, I, need, I still need jellyfish. Oh, it's like a fire one. Oh, what the fuck? It's a bomb. They bomb. They're bombs. Fuck! No! No! Fuck! I didn't realize I was so low on oxygen. I had so much shit. Fuck! Oh, okay, I didn't realize. Shit! Uh, I mean, I'll take the meat, I guess. God damn it, I didn't realize how low I was. Unlucky. I was trying to get some jellyfish for the jellyfish event. I got greedy. Phew, it seems I got everything that fussy half fish asked me for. Okay, cool. You wanted me to make this coral edible, right? I'll have to ask Bancho for help. Sorry, no, that's okay. I appreciate it. I don't mind vaccining as long as it's not like really annoying and like every second about every little thing. You know? Like, I hate when people correct me on things that don't really matter. But if it's just a helpful little tip, then that's fine. Oh, you put a picture of something! Can I see? <laughs> <coughs> oh, an oppa! Did you know that the oppa is a warm blooded? Mm. Oh, I think I've heard about it. Ha <laughs> ha! It's an amazing that some fish species are warm blooded. The ocean is a full of mysteries. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. There are photo spots all over the parish. Thank you for your help and keep up with the good work. Cool. All right, let's go talk to Buncho. Buncho the beast. I really like games like this that let me voice act characters. Mm. So this coral has, coral has to be prepared so it's easy to eat for the sea people. Well, I think we could start with a porridge of sorts. Give me a moment. Buncho. Damn. <laughs> Dude, Buncho is sick. Hey, made, made me a little bento box. There you go. I suffered the coral to make it easy to eat, so it should be fine. Wow, thank you, Bajo. You're so quick. Alright, let's take this to Ramo. Ramo? Rama? I don't know. I'll say Rama, because then it's like ramen. Uh. Okay. Let's try not to die this time. I went too deep. I got too big for my britches. And I've got pretty big britches. Okay, let's go to Ramo. Ramo. Old mate Ramo. What time is it? Ooh, it's 10 o'clock. Alright, I'll do this and then I'll have to get off. Because I have school tomorrow. Dude, I can't wait until I graduate and I don't have to worry about bedtime as much. And like, getting up early. And then I can stream a bit more. And obviously I'll be able to stream throughout the day as well, because I won't have as much school. 
I'll probably still have work that I have to go to every now and then, but that won't be every day, and it won't be all day. Also, I'm moving out, moving house soon, so it won't be... I won't get interrupted as much. Hopefully this doesn't take too long, but I bet it's probably going to lead into, like, another big quest. Hello, fishies. Dude, the ocean is so cool. I've said it once, I've said it a million times. I love fish, and I love aquariums, and I would like to go to the aquarium more often. I just like animals in general. Dude, I went to the zoo recently. I told you guys about it, but I went to the zoo recently and I was like the most excited person there. I was more excited than all of the little kids that were there with their parents. All the other people that I went with at school were like, oh yeah, you know, lion, that's cool. I was like, oh my God, it's a fucking lion. Oh my God, that's so fucking cool. And I'm the same way at aquariums. I'm like, holy shit, that's a fucking octopus! That's awesome! <coughs> it's great. I like animals. I want to go on a, on a date to the aquarium. That's like my, my peak date idea. Oh my god. Not the rubber chicken. That would be- that would literally be a peak date for me, would be going to the aquarium. Still young at heart. Dude, I'm- I'm young. Young at heart, young at- at brain, young at body. I'm just young. I'm still a young- young man. I'm- well, I'm- I'm- I'm an- I'm an old boy and I'm almost a young man, you know? Next month I'll be a young man. Right now I'm just a very old child. What the fuck is that? Ah, uh, I hate how there's things in the background that I can't catch. Oh wait, I need to do UV. It's nice that they put them nearby. It said that the hole changes each time you go in it, but it doesn't really. Because there's so much stuff that stays exactly the same. Alright, I'm back, Ramo. Don't get your fish panties in a twist. Here, I bought some coral porridge. Oh, you really bought it? Seems to be right. Now kiss. Ramo! This is go- Wait. Oh, wait, you're feeding Ramo. You're Suwam. Right. I thought, for some reason, I thought he was Ramo. Okay, she's alive. Ooh. Am I going to marry the fish princess? Phew, I feel much better now. I can't remember anything after seeing squid tentacles. Huh? A human? What is a human doing here? Well, you could say I saved you. I defeated the giant squid and brought you the coral porridge. Hmm, is that so? Wait, Ramo, that's not it. I'm actually the one who... Alright then, human, you shall escort me back to my village. Me? Why should I? I'm an injured lady. You need to keep anything dangerous from happening. Ramo, I can escort you too. So, um, you go ahead and scout our path. What? How could you let a human escort you? I can keep you safe and... Yes, yeah, Cinderella literally did. You haven't even passed the village tactics exam! It was tough enough coming here. Oh. Ah, that's a sore spot for me. So, um, stop complaining and be our lookout for the path ahead. As for you, human, you'll have to carry me on your back. With the... <laughs> uh, I don't think he's a Sundere, I think he just doesn't like you. <laughs> 
on my back? It's hard enough to move around as it is down here. Oh, my injured fin is hurting again. You are impossible. I'll take you to the village and no further, all right? Damn. Suam's pissed. I'm stealing this girl. Get the target... Get the target location safely with Ramo on your back. Ramo has the ability to open up two blind paths. Watch your surrounding co- Oh. Alright, we'll do this real quick. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Because I do need to go to bed. I have to hold her. Okay, I can't sprint with this. Okay, good. Oh, that's convenient. Okay, Suwam's not too far away, so I don't think this should take too long. Olar. Good, follow along. Make sure Ramo isn't hurt. Oh, maybe I'm gonna get the ability to open up two blind paths from this. Maybe they're gonna give me like fish people magic. Wait, okay, so if you need a UV light to get through these normally, but they don't need one, does that mean the fish people emit UV rays naturally? That's an interesting biological quirk. What is this vibration? It's rare to experience one so strong. Did something happen to the village? We must return quick. Hurry, human! I'm hurrying as fast as I can. You're kind of heavy. Not gonna lie. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Not the Mega Mouth. Not the Mega Mouth. Okay, you didn't see us. We're good, we're good. Okay. Here's Suam again. Are we at the village? Hey now, human! Don't tell me you're tired already! Bring her carefully! Alright, come on, babe. Actually, I don't want to say babe because I don't know how old you are. Oh, I gotta watch out for the bombs. The bombs that killed me last time. Fucking bitches. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <sighs> okay, we're fine. Whoa, what the fuck is that? I feel like that's gonna be aggressive. Oh, maybe not. Is that the fish that Garibus is based off? The Pokemon? The really forgettable pink fish Pokemon with the long nose? Gen 5, I think. Ooh, okay, ouch. That was kind of unavoidable. Oh, I need X oxygen. Hold on, lady. Okay, we're good. Go Rebus? Yes. I, <laughs> I thought it was Gorbus, I'm not gonna lie. Ramo, this! Our path is... A path in is blocked with rock! Oh no! What is going on? Um, it must have been the vibrations earlier. No, the you said Oh, Garibus. Wait, how do you is it is is it pronounced Gorbus, is that how you say it, or is it Garibus? So um, think of something. I need to get back before my father scolds me even more. Um Hmm. Maybe we can open up a path by dropping the loose rock pile over there. Gorbis, okay. Gorbis, got it. It's such a forgettable Pokemon. If we can double it and make it fall, it might just do the trick. Or Jorbis, depending on the person. No, Jorbis sounds weird. I think Gorbis is right. Well, I suppose it might work. How do we make the rocks fall, though? Hmm, I see a stake over there. Maybe if we pull it out? Human, can you pull out that stake over there? The stake? 
I think it'll hurt my hands with the gloves I'm wearing. I could probably do it with gloves that are thicker and offer a better grip. Dave! My apologies! I left the microphone on because I was dying to know what you were talking about. If it's an enhanced diving gloves you need, I think my lab could help you out. Oh, huh? new, new gloves? Haha, <laughs> equipment goes hand in hand with exploration. Wait, what voice? No, no, I'm doing the wrong voice for him. Does it not? Come up to the boat. I think there must be a way. Could you wait here for a moment? Hold it, human. You plan to leave Rama in a dangerous place like this? Luckily, she has me guarding her. Still, be back quick. Alright, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh. Oh, wait, I'll, I'll, no, I'll have to return to the boat. Oh, wait, I can just go. Okay. I'll get to the boat and then I'll end it here. Because I'm already. I, I should already have finished, but I wanted to finish off that little section. See ya! See ya, Jonathan! Oh. Hmm, the real back to the Sea People village, huh? How fascinating! Thanks for the good times and rest of well. Thanks, Storm Raven. I appreciate you popping in, dude. Hope I see you again, bro. Good luck with your charity event. My lab has developed some diving gloves to be used for retrieving artifacts. I see. That should let me pull out a stake without my hands slipping, right? Haha, <laughs> of course! It has various safety measures built in that'll let you move any other objects besides many other objects besides stakes. That long the long dive must have been tiring. Get some rest, I'll explain the details tomorrow. I'll come back to the boat tomorrow morning. Oh thank god. Alright, now I can go to bed as well. Alright. Cool. Thank god. Ooh, application. Ooh, Itsuki looks so cool. But her stats are so dog shit. But she looks so cool. Fuck! Ooh, okay. Leo looks kind of average. Yusuke looks really good. What is Procure? Uh, Itsuki sucks. Charlie is also pretty mid. I think I'm gonna have to go y Yusuke. I need him serving, but his serving isn't that great. God, the online thing was meant to get really, really good people. Unlucky. Alright, I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you, Jonathan, for watching. Thank you, Storm Raven. Thank you, everyone else. I will be playing something else tomorrow. Go look on the Instagram or uh, go join the Discord server if you want to hear what we're playing tomorrow. See ya.